Hey, I'm Johnny from Team F9, and I'm going to answer a question that we've received countless times. Our camera production setup. First, let's talk about sound. Everyone has asked, how does Ryan get such clean, crisp audio on his motor vlogs and his video reviews? Well, that's super easy. He uses the Zoom H4N sound recorder. It's a super portable device that could fit in your back pocket, in your backpack. It runs on only two AA batteries that can last up to four hours in normal mode. And if you flick the stamina mode, it can last up to 11 hours. It can record in two audio formats, MP3 and WAV. We choose to record in the WAV format since it's a higher quality file over the MP3. But if you're just recording to put things online, it doesn't really matter. And lastly, the h one has two built-in microphones and two XLR inputs for external mics. Speaking of microphones, we use the Sony EMS 448 lavalier mic. So it plugs right into the XLR input of the zoom just like this. It only used one AA battery that can last up to 5,000 hours and they're right. We haven't changed the battery since we bought it. So for reviews like this one, what we do is that we simply clip the mic to Ryan's collar and then for his motovlogs, we simply take the mic and tape it to the inside of his helmet's chin bar. And to sync up audio, we just clap before each take and then we match the sound waves in post-production. It's that simple. Next up, cameras. For our motovlogs, we use two GoPros. Well, I should say that's something we used to use. When Ryan was reviewing the Lowrider S in Toronto, one of the cameras fell off due to a suction cup failure. So these sticky mounts are safer, more reliable, if you don't mind sticking things to your bike. Anyway, we replaced that last GoPro that Ryan lost with this brand new Hero 5 Black. In our opinion, it's their best camera to date. That is until they release one next year, next week, next two hours. That's like all tech companies do. The Hero 5 has a few settings that we don't really care about, like touch sensitive display, and the ability to record stereo audio. Like I said earlier, we record all our sounds separately, so we don't really need that, but for most people, stereo audio is a benefit. However, there are some awesome features for us. The Hero 5 is waterproof on its own, so you don't need to buy a separate housing for it, but it still leaves the camera open to rocks and sticks, breaking the glass. If you care about image quality like we do, it's worth knowing that the Hero 5 can record in 4K, although we do output all our videos in 1080p. Our second motor vlog camera is the GoPro session. We bought this little guy as a B camera and it does exactly that. We wouldn't really use it as a primary camera because the image quality is not as great as the Hero 5. But the session is small and super light. You can mount it to your helmet and barely notice it's there. For our gear reviews, we use a Canon 5D Mark III. If you know anything about DSLR filmmaking, you'll know that the 5D Mark II started the whole revolution. It's been used on countless low-budget videos and even on bigger productions like Breaking Bad. Anything that's good for Mr. White is good enough for us. Except meh. It's a great full-frame camera for small shoots like this, which we're actually shooting on right now. But if you want to see the full potential that the Canon 5D Mark III has, check out our Explore series. As for our lenses, we've got a great set of Canon LCU primes and zooms ranging from wide to telephoto. So we've got the 16 to 35 f2.8, the 24 to 105 f4, the 70 to 200 f2.8, and the 50 f1.2. If you've got the money to buy a kit, we'd always recommend buying prime lenses because the optics are usually better quality, but there's a ton of good zoom lenses out there that does the job, but we have everything covered from 16 millimeter all the way to 200 millimeter with the kit we have. Now for the big boy, the newest addition to the 4.9 video arsenal, the Sony FS5. This is a great little camera. It has a bunch of great features, and if you're looking to buy the FS5, I suggest that you do your own research, but I'm gonna give you a quick rundown of the features that we use the most. Built-in ND filter, removable top handle, and super slow motion. Like super slow. 120 frames per second slow. Oh, and that's 120 frames per second in full HD. The image quality of the FS5 is gorgeous, but I mean with a super 35 millimeter CMOS sensor, that's to be expected. The hand grip is ergonomic and positioned perfectly for the camera's center of gravity. With this Sony BPU90 battery and a heavy lens, the camera feels perfectly balanced. Bear in mind that this isn't the stock battery though. We bought a larger aftermarket one because the stock BPU30 didn't have enough juice for the long shoots. We use all our Canon glasses on this guy with an adapter. It changes the crop factor on the sensor, which is kind of annoying, but we can live with that. One word of advice if you're looking to buy the FS5 is make sure your computer is on steroids. Why? Because shooting and editing in 4K is not a job for the faint-hearted. And finally, when we're looking for an extra bump to our production value, we use this, the DJI Phantom 3 Professional Quadcopter. We first used it while shooting all over Quebec during our Explore series, and it did add a little extra flavor that we needed. Our first flight was over Percy Rock in the Gaspésie. Stunning footage but our cameraman was so nervous that the wind would blow the drone right into the water that he didn't breathe for the whole flight. 
it's not a cheap piece of kit to lose. Practice, practice, practice using your drone before any big flights. For those of you who play with RC planes and fighter jet video games while growing up, you love flying one of these drones. You can even get a second remote so that one of you operates the drone and the other person controls the camera. The Phantom 3 Professional records in 4K and you can also shoot slow motion with it. If you're interested in getting the Phantom 3, make sure you download the DJI GO app. It allows you to control your drone through an awesome program DJI is called Lightbridge. You can control exposure, frame rate, white balance, everything. Plus, it lets you watch what's going on in the camera in 720p HD. So that's it for our vlogging and camera setup. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing what happens behind the scenes. So now we got to get all this stock back and start shooting some great videos for 2017.